The first attempt to hoist the gargantuan gar wasn't going well, even with the efforts of three strong men. So next, they hooked the fish to a pickup and slowly raised the seven-foot, two-inch creature. Problem is, the scale only goes to 220 pounds. Tacho Ruiz and his son Leo from San Benito are seasoned alligator gar fishermen. But this is the heaviest one they have ever caught. It took over an hour just to land the huge fish from a rasaka south of their hometown on mere 17 pound test line. I, I told Leo there's a big one there. You gotta take it slow, bring it slow. Right. It uh, surfaced about four or five times, real nice. It's just all, all, no, just all the way up, just breaking the water on top, just going on top of the water. Almost, how much of the fish came out of the water? The whole fish, the whole you could fish. see the whole fish. Fortunately, the friendly folks at Beacon's Moving in San Benito open up, and the hefty gar weighs in at 232 pounds. So then it's back into the truck and off to prepare for a very big fish fry, the Ruiz family tradition. And they, they can, if they like it, if my grandson say they, they like it, that's the best way to keep in those, the family together. One thing's for sure, there will be plenty of chicharrones in San Benito as these guys caught a seven foot one inch gar the day before. But Leo has his eye on an even bigger fish. There's a gar there. It's way over eight feet, and I think it's a, the granddaddy of them all. Richard Moore, news from the outdoors.